hi guys uh, last in last video I explained you about creation of a, a regular form in this video we will see uh, a joint form so joint form basically is a uh, combination of uh, two or more than two forms it is similar to a join what we create in the database so I'll explain you how we create join forms in PMC remote. so in the last example we see that we created a form called student details now I have created a similar uh, regular form which has uh, these fields like student roll number and these fields so now what we will do we will create a join form with these two forms so let me go there again in the forms right click create join form so first of all I have to select a primary form so my primary form is a student details which is the primary form I have for the join then I have to select the secondary form so I will select this now we have different options here now whether you want to <coughs> create an inner join or outer join this is similar to what we have in databases the, the type of the join inner join means uh, it will it will show you uh, records uh, matching records from both the forms after join means it will show you records from the uh, first form and matching records from the second form so we will see only the inner join then this is again field positioning where you want to position the fields vertically, horizontally and in retains options we will not go more details into this ok so let me say next now I have to add the fields from the primary form so let me say I, have, I want student name and student class from the primary form let's say student division also now I have to select fields uh, from the secondary form so from the secondary form I will select marks A marks B marks C that's it so I will finish it now uh, we have to understand that based on what this join form criteria should work so I will go here in definitions I'll say join form information so this type is inner type so what I will do I will add a qualification to this I will say primary student details just a minute I will say roll number student roll number should be equal to student roll number from this so this is join criteria where it will basically match roll number form both the forms and display as the details on uh, on the matching basis so let me save this I have to give this a name student details marks let me give this a name as student deal marks so I will say ok now uh, I can directly go here so uh, first of all let me let me do a cache flush just for a little oh, I have to just log in again just let me log in and I will do a cache flush I will go here and cache flush cache now what I will do I will first of all okay let me copy the name of this so the name is student marks okay let me go here so what I will do I will go to student marks form Sorry for this. Okay, so we will uh, we will go to the uh, this form, and now what we will try to do is just move, let me open the other form also. Yes. 
sorry student details let me perform a search let's say I have this roll number and here I will provide the roll number and then I will add the marks let's see 50 30 and 6 and sorry just create a new request provide this save it similarly I will take this uh, other number or number I will put some number marks and I will save it now I will open the join form uh, we can do it from directly from here I can just copy paste the name st let me see the name of the form student details box details marks okay this is the join form which we have so let me perform a search so you can see on this form I can display information from uh, both these forms so for each student I can display his class division and additionally I can also display his marks which are coming from this form which is our um, secondary form in the join form so th this form can be now used to fetch information in a workflow which we will uh, see in the detailed videos going further so this is how you create a join form and then uh, this is one type of join which is inner join while it shows the records matching records from both the tables similarly we can create an outer join which is you can go here so instead of um, instead of uh, inner join let's say we will say outer join and then uh, what we will do on this form on the student uh, sorry on the students let me open that again so let me open so what we will do now we will create another record on the student details form where we will give some name as some classes let's say sorry 10th division is 4 and roll number is 36 something like this so we will sorry sunny give the name and then we will say class 9th let's say division let's say 4 and this is the roll number save it okay I need to provide this so this is it now if I go here perform a search now we can see I'm able to see three records so for the first two these are the matching from records and this is the one which is from the primary form because student detail was our primary form so now in the outer join it is showing us all the records from uh, primary form and all the sorry all the records uh, from the primary form and the matching records from the join form so in in the join form if now i add some same let's say i have some id i'll provide these numbers let's say this is a school roll number and i will save it now if we go to again to the join form refresh it can see I still can see only three records because the new record I added here is not matching with the any record in the student detail section so this is an example of a join form thank you